This is Bob Martin in Sky Ranger at about uh, 3.50 p.m. Uh, in the afternoon on Tuesday afternoon. We're looking from the White Rock area south from about 14,000 feet. What you're seeing in the upper part of the frame is the Cochiti Mesa area where we have a, a, a big flare up uh, going on right now. A lot of intense crowning and uh, fire movement up there with some heavy wind behind it. Now, as we come down the flank of the fire here, you're looking at the east side of the fire. Uh, this is the side of the fire that faces the Rio Grande. We're looking on the east slopes of the uh, Jemez Mountains. We're coming across now and you're starting to see Highway uh, 4. Let's pause right here. You can see uh, where Highway uh, 4 is in the, actually up in the middle to top portion of your frame. The, down in the lower right, is the Transuranic uh, Nuclear Waste Storage Area, the tent storage area at Los Alamos National Laboratory. As we push into the middle, let's go back up into the middle up there, and we'll push up in there and give folks a better idea of where the fire is moving. We look up in here, over on the left side of the frame, if we go left again, we'll get over to where uh, Frijoles Canyon, let's not push in anymore, let's go ahead and pull out a little bit and pan left, and you're looking at the uh, Frijoles Canyon area right over there. That is where we have a, uh, a little bit of fire activity over there. At the moment, it's uh, laying fairly low. And also, there have been a lot of burnout operations over here. In other words, intentional uh, fires set over in this uh, Frijoles Canyon area. Let's push in a little bit on our zoom. Pan left just a little bit. Pan left a little bit more. Left a little bit more. No more zooming, please and pan left a little bit more. What we're going to do is we're going to see the uh, Frijoles uh, Canyon a little bit more clearly here. Uh, and you can see perhaps there a little bit of, uh, of uh, Highway 4. Let's go ahead and zoom on in. Maybe we can get a little better magnification on that. And uh, over to the left. And I believe that's Highway 4 that you're looking at there. And that's where the, uh, the uh, uh, Bandelier National Monument headquarters is back over into the in the uh, left, and to the, over to the left is the actual Frijoles Canyon. You can see we do have quite a bit of uh, smoke and uh, fire over in that area, but again, I do want to emphasize some of this has been intentionally set, and what they've been trying to do is well, let's pull on out wider now and give them a whole view of Frijoles Canyon. Stay on the canyon. What they're trying to do is to keep the fire, rob the fire of fuel if it tries to move to the east toward the park headquarters and uh, in that general direction. Okay, let's go ahead and pan back to the right and we'll look over at uh, the laboratory area and uh, see what we have over here. Again, there we go with the, uh, the uh, waste storage area, the transuranic surface waste storage area. Those are those large tents down there. Let's zoom in and show that uh, there is no fire right now anywhere in the media vicinity of that at the moment. Uh, but we do have some a couple of miles away over to the west in some of those canyons. That's adequate. Thanks, Dominic. Our photographer on board this afternoon, Dominic Crespin, is uh, operating our FLIR camera as we fly over the scene and uh, take a look at the various different areas. And Dominic, if you could, let's uh, tilt up and uh, pan right a little bit. We're looking due west. If you're trying to figure out exactly where we are, we're looking due west. Now we're panning a little bit to the northwest, more over towards the Los Alamos Airport, which you can see in the distance there. Dom, I think if you zoom in, folks can see the laboratory facilities there uh, on the left. Let's go left, and uh, you can see the uh, accelerator facility and the Los Alamos uh, Airport, uh, County Airport, in the upper part right there. Again, no fire uh, anywhere actually in this entire area. Let's pull out wide and uh, all the way out wide, if you could, Dom, and pan left. I want to show the laboratory property from the accelerator facility there over to the transuranic storage facility. You see there's no fire anywhere in between. So um, if we, if we go, uh, look, go ahead and zoom on up into the smoke up there, and we can see more of the main laboratory facility. And again, no fire immediately uh, in that area. Dominic, thanks a bunch. So you can see the city area and some of the laboratory. Let's pull on out wide. Somebody's trying to call me on the radio. If you could let them uh, ask them to uh, pause, please, and wait till we complete. Um, if you go ahead and pull out wide, Dominic, we're looking at a, uh, we're basically due east of the city of Los Alamos. 
And so as we uh, push on in, go ahead in there, Dominic. I think you can see a little bit of the mountains up there in the top part of the frame, up towards the ski area and areas like that. There's a lot of concentration in some of the fire that uh, is up in that area right now on the uh, eastern flank of the Valle Caldera. So uh, that gives you sort of an overview of what we're seeing this afternoon at about uh, now coming up on 4 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. And uh, we'll go ahead and sign off at this time off of our uh, webcast report. We appreciate you joining us. We'll give you uh, more of these as the day progresses and as we get more information. This is Bob Martin in Sky Ranger.